Magandang buhay, Leon Shines! Welcome on today's episode of Mat Tuto with Teacher Jack. Ihanda natin ang ating tainga, ang ating isip at ang ating puso at sabay-sabay tayong Mat Tuto. For today's topic, I'll be discussing about describing and illustrating different kinds of angles and describing triangles and quadrilaterals. So look at the wall clock. Look at the hands of the clock. How many hands does it have? Tama! So meron dalawang hands yung ating wall clock. So what geometric figure does each hand represent? So to answer this question, let us start our discussion. An angle can be named in three ways. So let's have this angle. This is the hands of the clock na pinakita ko kanina. So we can name this angle like this. It is read as angle pat or angle PAT. So this one is the symbol of an angle. Okay, we name this angle starting from the vertical ray going to the horizontal ray. The next one is like this. It is read as angle top or angle TAP. So we name this angle is starting from the horizontal ray going to the vertical ray. And we can name it like this. This one is read as angle A and this one is read as angle 1. Okay, so pinangalan natin na angle A or angle 1 by referring to the vertex or endpoint of this angle. An angle is measured in degrees. This is the symbol of degree. And angles can be classified according to their measurement. Let's have the first kind of angle. So this one is called as right angle. It measures 90 degrees and it forms a square corner. So, ayan yung kanyang square corner. Kapag kasi mo siya, using protractor, ang kanyang sukat ay 90 degrees. So, ang tawag dito ay right angle. Okay, this is the second kind of angle. Okay, we call this one as acute angle. So, ang kanyang measure ay lower than 90 degrees. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, ang kanyang sukat ay 55 degrees. Question, pwede bang ma mas tumaas pa ito sa 55 degrees pero hindi lalagpas ng 90 degrees? At pwede ba ito mas bumaba pa sa 55 degrees? Yes, basta ang acute angle, it measures less than 90 degrees. It is smaller than a right angle. Let's have the next kind of angle. So, take a look at this angle. What can you say about its measurement? Correct. Its measurement is 180 degrees, which is bigger than the measurement of right angle. Okay, we call this angle as obtuse angle. It measures more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 of just angle is bigger than a right angle. Okay? So, tandaan lang kapag ka of just angle, mas mataas yung measurement niya kaysa sa right angle. Pero, hindi lalagpas ng 180 degrees ang measurement ni of just angle. Let's have an activity. Try to determine what kind of angle is flashed on your screen. The first one, Correct. It is an obtuse angle. Let's have the second one. What angle is this? Very good. It is an acute angle. The third one. What kind of angle is this? Correct. It is an obtuse angle. The fourth one. What kind of angle is this? Very good. It is right angle. And the last one, what kind of angle is this? Correct, it is an acute angle. 
let us discuss about describing triangles and quadrilaterals. What is a triangle? A triangle is a polygon that has three sides and three angles. A closed figure has three angles when it has three line segments joined end to end. So let's have the image. We have the first line segment, the second line segment, and the third line segment. So they are joined end to end. And, meron siyang isa, dalawa, tatlong angles. So, we call this one as a closed figure. What are the properties of a triangle? Let's have the first one. A triangle has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. So, let's have the example. One, two, Three. So we have three sides. One, two, three. We have three angles. One, two, three. And we have three vertices. Let's have the second property of a triangle. So the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. So let's have an image of a triangle okay so kapag ka yung side dito sa left inad mo siya sa side sa lower part mas mataas or mas mahaba siya compare sa side na nasa right or kapag ka itong side na nasa right inad mo siya sa side na nasa left mas mahaba siya compare sa side na nasa lower part. Or kapag ka itong lower part, inad mo siya dito sa right side, mas mahaba siya compare sa line na nasa left side. So, lagi lang tatandaan, any of the two sides of a triangle kapag ka pinag-add mo, lagi siyang greater than the length of the third side. Next, let's have the third property of a triangle. The side opposite of the largest angle of a triangle is the longest side. Let's have our triangle. Okay, so yung triangle, meron siyang three angles. This is the first one, the second, and the third. So among the three angles, ito yung largest angle. Okay? Lagi daw yung opposite side ng largest angle, iyon yung longest side. Now, let's talk about quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a polygon that has four sides and four angles. Let's have an example of an image of quadrilateral. So, tignan natin yung kanyang side. We have one, two, three, four. So, meron four sides yung quadrilateral. And yung kanyang angles, we have one, two, three, four. So, yung quadrilateral natin, meron four angles and four sides. What are the properties of a quadrilateral? The first one, a quadrilateral is a closed shape with four sides. And the second one, the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Now, let's have an activity. Identify the image flashed on your screen, whether it is a triangle or quadrilateral. So, this first image is very good, triangle. Let's have the second one. A triangle or a quadrilateral? Correct. It is a quadrilateral. The next one, a triangle or quadrilateral? Correct. It is a quadrilateral. Next, what is it? Correct. It is a triangle. And this one, it is a very good 
quadrilateral. Now let us sum up our discussion. Always remember that an angle is formed when two rays meet at a common endpoint. It is measured in degrees. This is the sign of degree. Angles can be classified according to their measurements. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. It forms a square corner. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. It is smaller than a right angle. An obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but it is less than 180 degrees. And a triangle is a plane figure with three sides and three angles. And the last one, a quadrilateral is a plane figure with four sides and four angles. There you have it, kids. I know that you've learned a lot on today's episode. A friendly reminder, kids, don't forget to answer your activities for this week's lesson that can be found in your module. If you have some queries or questions, don't hesitate to chat teacher chat on my messenger account or on our messenger group chat. Kita kita tayo muli mga bata sa susunod na episode ng Math Tuto with Teacher Jack. Thank you so much for watching and listening on this video. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking YouTube channel, i-click lang ang subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong video lessons ko. Maraming salamat! God bless! Bye-bye!